Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video I wanted to go ahead and kind of explain to you guys and show you guys a little bit of how this chess piece that's kind of been reworked, uh, Death's Oath, kind of works. So Death's Oath deals a flat amount of chaos damage uh, per second to you if you have killed a target recently, but it grants you the level 20 Death Aura skill. And just like Whispering Ice, for example, uh, if you socket gems into the chess piece, it will actually affect the aura itself. And you can see that here with the Death Aura. Now the Death Aura deals a flat amount of chaos damage per second and can be modified uh, with support gems and nodes on the tree. So I just have a Berserker that I'm leveling right now. It's very low level, it's level 67. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of how the character performs. So currently, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in a Blood Aqueduct, because this is where I'm leveling to about 70. I'm 67 right now, so this is not gonna be anything special, uh, but I just wanna show you guys. And we're also using Abyssal Cry and Blight supported with it, and I'll talk more about that after. Now we haven't actually even completed Merc Lab yet. Merc Lab for this character would be 40% more damage. And what I've kind of, or at least want to do for this character is, the goal is that the Death's Oath will basically act as kind of like a six link for Blight, if that even makes sense. Um, I'm trying to get the damage on the aura to scale enough where it can kill white mobs relatively quickly, which is really good for triggering Abyssal Cry. Uh, and just targeting monsters that I really can't see, where I'll still have Blight for actual single target um, with the Alepathy Gloves, and I'll talk about that after we finish this uh, quick zone. Now, one other cool thing is that Death's Oath does damage over time to you, and with the new changes to Mind Over Matter, you can actually mitigate that damage over time very, very effectively. So that 450 flat chaos damage that I'm taking basically does nothing to my character as right now I'm sitting on 69 chaos resist with very, very easily acquired gear. Now this is before the last penalty. I haven't actually even finished all the content in the game with the character yet. We're actually only up to act nine. So um, just to go over a little bit more with the way the character works, uh, you can pick up a pair of Embalmer gloves here that give life and chaos res for, I don't know, a couple chaos. You can pick up Dusk Toe, which gives you 50 chaos res while using a flask for a chaos, maybe not even, maybe an alchemy orb. Um, and then you can get like chaos res on your gear. You have passive trees, or your passive tree can have chaos res like Purity of Flesh. I believe Necromancer gets chaos res, and if you go CI, you're completely immune. So, really fast to go over Death's Oath. The way Death's Oath works is it's a little bit interesting. So currently what I'm using on it is Void Manipulation, Swift Affliction, Less Duration, Efficacy, and Arcane Surge. Ideally I would get five off colors and this red socket here would be a blue so you could use Conk Effect and Increased AoE. So now just to go over it really fast to explain the way Death's Oath works is we need to break down Threshold Jewels. So thre what Threshold Jewels are is they're jewels that work for supported skills, so this would be for Blight, and sometimes they can even add a tag onto a skill, like Explosive Arrow. A tag is basically what you see on top of the skill, so this would be Efficacy, and it's a support and a duration. So if we were to socket, for example, Void Manipulation into our Death's Oath, you'll notice that it actually gives it a damage increase, right? It goes from 1.5, to 2000 and that's because this is chaos damage over time if I were to put efficacy in it doesn't do anything because it's not a spell it's not scaling off spell damage and even though it does damage over time it's not it's not based on a duration it's just damage over time but you can remedy this by using the arcane surge support gem so by using the arcane surge support gem it actually adds the duration tag to it which then allows it to scale off things like efficacy Swift Affliction, and Less Duration. Now, I didn't find this out personally. This is just what people have been doing. This is what uh, my viewers told me about. And it makes sense, though, because this is what you do, for example, with Righteous Fire. 
If you put Righteous Fire with a Spell Totem, it now gets the Duration tag, and you can basically use the exact same setup like this. Okay, so that's pretty much how that works. Now you can also use things like Spreading Rot, which make the targets take increased damage, uh, which is really cool. Because this is 50% increased Chaos damage, which will scale with your Wither Totem, which will also scale your Death's Oath. And the way we have it right now is basically we want to be able to do enough damage that we can pop a target instantly and we can just cascade and scale the Abyssal Cry, which is very good for at least for what I'm trying to do. And later on, our goal is going to be to scale it with, for example, Unshattered Will would be for Blight for single target and the Alepathy Gloves, even though we don't have a six link, we'll have five link plus the Berserker's 40% more damage. And then we also will have the Death's Oath Aura, which will hopefully make up that last link. And then the next couple levels, I plan on grabbing Whispers of Doom, and that way I can drop Purity of Elements because I have, like, shit gear, and I can use Temporal Chains with Blasphemy instead. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to give you guys a little demonstration. Uh, before I actually finish up this video, though, I'm just going to go ahead and run through this for you guys without actually doing anything so you can just see the pure Death's Oath. I'm just going to have the Witchfire on and running through, essentially, and you can see exactly how much it does. Now, this can also be scaled with global modifiers, such as, um, I don't remember exactly what it's called, Hidden Potential, I think it's called. Hidden Potential uh, would be a pretty okay way to scale it as well. Uh, you could also get things like, um, I honestly don't even know, jewels. I don't have any jewels for damage right now, except for the Spreading Rot Jewel, which is from Blight, but I'm not really using those right now at all. Now, this can also be scaled with Aura Effect. That's the one really cool thing about Death's Oath, is by picking up nodes like Leadership, which you can find, for example, um, Leadership would be over here. Uh, that 50% increased AoE would scale it. Also things like increased aura effect, such as here, and you can find those all around there in Shadow. You have it in Scion, Templar, Ranger over here, and even, which I plan on coming down through here, Duelist, which has Champion of the Cause. Sorry, I just have to abyssal cry for the blue packs, man. I don't want to waste XP. I'm scared I'm going to die. <laughs> now, this cannot be scaled with things like Empower, Enhance, and... I don't remember the other one. Empower, Enhance, Enlighten? I think that's the other one. At least I don't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Because it do shouldn't work for, like, Whispering Ice either. Alright boys, so that's pretty much about it. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Just as a quick shout out, if you guys are curious, I will be streaming Divinity Original Sin 2 a little bit in my off time. Um, actually, today I will, or tonight I'll be streaming it. So feel free to stop by if you're curious for that. The game just got released today. Anyway though, have a wonderful time everybody.